we are going to talk under a heading you are the light can you write it down and we go and read in the book of john chapter 3 verse 16 it says for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life 17 for god did not send his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved he who believes in him is not condemned but he who does not believe is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten son of god and this is the condemnation that the light has come into the world and men loved darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil 20 for everyone practicing evil hates the light and does not come to the light lest his deeds sorry lest his deeds should be exposed but he who does the truth comes to the light that his deeds may be clearly seen that they have been done in God. Let us pray. Father, thank you for your wonderful word. Lead us, guide us, walk with us. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. I said to you when I started speaking, the heading of our message today is you are the light. Can you tell the person that is close to you, you are the light. Where we just read, the Bible is talking about God sending his only begotten son to come to earth so that he can die for us. In other words, God gave us a gift and the gift was Jesus Christ. This gift that God has given to earth or to the world, it is because God wanted to lay a foundation or start a foundation or start a generation of people who are light or who are the light. In other words, if Jesus didn't come to earth, light was not supposed to have come. If Jesus didn't come to die for me and you, the light that we are in today was not supposed to be there. Hallelujah. In other words, God gave us a gift freely so that we can be able to live in the light. Tell somebody close to you, living in the light. Where we have read the Bible says, before the light comes, there was darkness. Now men love darkness. People love darkness. Why? Because when they are in the darkness, their deeds cannot be seen. That's what the Bible says. But now if you can come to the light, your deeds, we can be able to see them clearly. Why? Because when you do everything, you are doing it for the glory of the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now the light has come. That is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Laying the foundation of light on earth. So that me and you, when we believe, that says the Bible. When we believe in him, we may live in light. Why? Because he himself, he is the light. Can somebody say the light? Jesus came to bring light unto us. Jesus came so that we can live inside the light. 
Jesus came so that our lives can go from bad to better. From darkness to light. From problems to full of life. When Jesus came, wherever there is light, it means there is solution. Nobody can work where there is darkness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nobody can do anything where there is what? Darkness. Because you cannot see what you are doing. Neither can you understand the deeds that you are doing. But when you are in the light, not only the light, the light of God, which is Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you start to understand whatever you are doing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When we are in the light of God, children of God, when we are walking in the light of God, our deeds, our works, they give glory to God himself. Why? Because God is the one who gave a gift. Are you understanding me? Whatever we are doing right now as we are here in the church, dancing, shouting, screaming, and doing all these kind of things, we are doing it for the glory of God. Why? Because God is the one who gave so that the light must come. Now the light is here, children of God. What we have to do is to live in the light. Now, people love darkness. Even if when the light has come, so that way we can be able to live freely. You know, because Jesus has come, there is no need of doing a lot of things. The only thing we have to do is to believe in him. The only thing we have to do is to live in light. The only thing we have to do is to be the light. Hallelujah. Nothing and absolutely nothing can ever happen to you if you are still in the dark. Many of us, we are failing million and thousand times. Not because we are not hearing the word. Because we are not in the light. The deeds of God, are never done in darkness. The things that God wants us to see or to have or to inherit or to take, he does not want to do it in darkness. He wants to do it in light. The reason of God wanting to do everything in light is so that the glory must be his and not ours. Why? Because he is the one who gave. Hallelujah. Can you tell the person that is close to you, God is the one who gave. Now in John chapter 1 verse 4 to 5, just write it down. It says in him was life, the gift that God has given. In him was life. And the life was the light of man. And the light shines in the darkness. And the darkness did not comprehend it. The Bible says in him, the gift. I started by saying the gift. Did you hear me? The gift that God has given unto us. There was life in this gift. And on top of it, there was light again. And now when there was life and there was light, when me and you start to believe in this gift, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we inherit life and we inherit light. And the Bible says when the light comes, darkness didn't comprehend the light that was given. God has given us light. And the darkness in us does not comprehend the light that God has given to us. So many times, that is why most of us, we find many times we draw back or we go back to darkness. Why? Because we don't want our deeds to be seen. We don't want our works to be seen. Forgetting that if we move back from the light, God himself is not able to work in us. Because we are not working according to the gift. 
That is why most of the time you will hear people speaking about Christians are confused. Nobody is confused. Christians don't know what to do. Uh -uh. We know what to do. So now that day when you take a decision and say I want to be born again. I want to be a child of God. I want to follow God. I want to do what God is saying. I want to do his commandments. I want to do everything. When you took that decision that day, you took a decision of living in the light. When everything is done in the light of God, there is no confusion. When everything is done in the light of God, there is no, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know where I'm going. There is no stagnancy. When things are done in the light of God, there is no things that there are not, there is nothing that is called impossible before God. When things are done in the light of God, there is nothing that is called it can never happen. When things are done in the light of God, there is nothing called there is a delay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you tell somebody that is close to you, you are the light. Live like one who is in the light. You know, we are living, we are so-called Christians today. Allow me to explain this to you. We've got names, beautiful names, pastors. Baladeidi, Bashalamrao, deacons, elders, and whatever. But the things that we are doing are things of darkness. They are not in the light. Whatever that we are doing, we do things in darkness but not in the light. The Bible says, Jesus has come to give us life. In him, there is life. And again, in that life, there is light. And now, if you are in that light, you don't have to go back to darkness. Why? So that the light can manifest. So that the light can be seen. So that we can be able to acknowledge what God is doing in you. There is nothing that God can do for you if you are in darkness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you tell the person that is close to you, God can do nothing for you if you are in darkness. Maybe the God of darkness can do something for you, but not God. Do you know why? Because God did a sacrifice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tell somebody close to you, God did a sacrifice. He sacrificed his only begotten son, Jesus, so that me and you can live in light. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It says in him was life and the life was the light of man. Hear what? Now this light that I'm talking about brings the truth in you. This light that I'm talking about brings righteousness in you. The light that I'm talking about is the light of your path. In the book of Psalm 111, 119, verse 105, it says, The light is the light to my path. He is the light to my path. In other words, I know where I'm going. I don't get lost. Our problem is, like what the Bible says, Rinamatu, rirata lisuifi. We love darkness. We love the works of darkness. Even if today we can be born again and receive the light, still we go back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you ask the person that is close to you, are you not doing the works of darkness? Are you not doing the work of darkness? The Bible says, in him, Christ, who is the light, there is no darkness. So now, if now we are in him, 
and we believe in him and we put our life in him the light that is in him comes and dwell in us now when that light is in us we are no longer in darkness we are in the light and we are the light and now you can come and ask yourself this question <laughs> Why people that are close to you are not seeing the light that is in you? Can you ask somebody that is close to you? Why but when Why people that are dear to you are not seeing the light that is in you? Hmm? People that are close to you are not seeing the light that is in you. It is because part of you is light and part of you is darkness. It is because we didn't go fully into the light. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We don't understand this light. Now this light that God has given unto us is Christ Jesus himself. He say, Jesus, when he said, he say, stay in me and I will stay in you. And when Jesus is in us, the light is in us. And when the light is in us, we no longer dwell in darkness, we dwell in the light. And the things that we do are things of light and not things of darkness. And whatever we meditate upon is things of the light and not things of the darkness. We no longer dwell in darkness. Why? Because we have accepted him to come and live in us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you ask the person that is close to you, do you have Jesus in you? Now, in John chapter 8, verse 12, let us just study there on, in 10 so that we may understand. When Jesus has raised himself up and saw no one, but the woman, he said to her, woman, where are those accusers of yours? Has no one condemned you? She said, no. No one, Lord. And Jesus said to her, neither do I condemn you. Go and sin no more. Then verse 12. 12, he says, then Jesus spoke to them. There were people around there. He spoke to them again saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows me shall not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you tell somebody close to you, I have the light in me. I no longer walk in darkness. This woman was brought to Jesus. Why? Because they wanted to find something to get hold of Jesus. When they came to Jesus, they said, according to the law of Moses, when you have found something doing this and this and this, we have to stone the person. And the Bible says Jesus stooped down and started writing. And when he was writing, when he looked up, he saw that they were standing. And he said unto them, if you know that you don't have a sin, be the one to first stone this woman. And he went back and do what he was doing. Hallelujah. Then the Bible says, after some time, Jesus stooped up. And looked around. When he looked around, he found that there was nobody. Say nobody. Then Jesus said, Where are your accusers? And the woman said, They're gone. There is no one. And Jesus said, It means nobody is condemning you. So I also. Don't condemn you. Now, what you have to do is, I am the light. If you woman from today, you start following me and stop sleeping around, 
you will have the light and if you can have the light you will be out of darkness and nobody will ever accuse you of things that you are doing because the works of evil lead you to darkness hallelujah now we as children of god gathered in this house of worship we are here because we are assuming that we are christian let me use the word assume are you a christian are you a christian all of us we assume to be christians isn't it hallelujah but the bible now is saying to us if we indeed are following him why darkness is found in us why is he feeling to la morena why is he just sorry now why this light that we are having is not visible to people that are close to us even our husbands they don't know that we are born again but no riwela tachilele we rapel baba babu cha eh khantile wena wa rapel even you you can pray some of our relatives they don't even know that we are born again they are just amazed sometimes when we speak with them and we say no i am born again they say eh le wena even you you are born again why because the kind of life bana ba papa that we are living does not show that indeed we are following jesus christ of nazareth that has died for us if can meet in relatela mo rena jesus If in truth we were following Jesus Christ, we were supposed to be living in light. We were supposed to be the light of Winnie Mandela. You were supposed to be the light in Ivory Park. You were supposed to be the light in Pretoria where you are. You were supposed to be a light where you are working. You were supposed to be a light where you are staying. But that light is not visible why because man loves darkness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you tell somebody that is close to you you are the light? Why because Christ is in you. Now when Christ is in you, you must follow what Christ commands you. You must do what Christ tells you. Then that light that is in you grows. That light that is in you start to be visible. That light that is in you people start to talk about it. They will say to you now these days because she he says they are born again you know they don't even come to us. Why because you are protecting the light. When you have the light of God you must protect it child of God. Hallelujah. When you have the light of God our harm be no maganjani. When you have the light of God you don't do everything. When you have the light of Jesus Christ you don't do things the way people are doing them. When you have the light of God you separate yourself so that the light that is in you can grow. Are to live a letter by Saul. Saul was going to persecute the children of God. And my Bible says when he was on the way the light of jesus shone up to him and he fell down so that light that shone to saul was the full light of jesus christ and now if you can listen to what saul says he said who are you lord hmm? and when saul answers he said I am Jesus whom you are persecuting. In other words, this is what I've learned. When you stay in the Lord, when you follow what the Lord says, when you do the commandments of the Lord, the light that is in you grows. And when that light is in you grows, it makes it easier for you to run away from darkness. When this light is still small small little you will hear somebody say I was tempted and I fell mama Mama I was going when when I was t- why because the light is still small But when the light grows and it grows and grows and grows why does it grow it grows according to the way you are following 
Jesus, the owner of the light. Now, Wunchihari, now many of us, we are here in the house of God. But we are not here to follow the light. We are here to follow our desires. Say hallelujah. We are here to follow the things we are searching for. We are here to search for the things that we want. But let me give you a better advice today. If you can search for him, the Bible says, Seek ye first the kingdom, and all these things shall follow you. If you can seek and follow Jesus Christ with all your heart, that light comes and stays in you. When you have that light, when uh, the all crocodiles and scorpions are gone, you know, everything that is supposed to come to you, they come. Why? Because they see the light. I don't know if you're hearing me. Hallelujah. When you have the light of God, you don't search for things. Things search for you. Why? Because you are in the light. Huh? Why? Because all evil, all those wrong things, all those dirty things are no longer found in you. Why it is fi what is found in you is the cleanliness, the goodness, the righteousness of the Lord. Now all things that goes about searching for righteousness, they come to you. All those things in earth that goes about searching for people who have got good behavior, good hearts, they come to you. That is why you will hear other people testifying and say, I didn't even take my CV there, but I was amazed when they called me and say, I must come for interview and now I got a job. Why? The person was searching for a job. Now the job came searching for the person. Why? Because the light of God is there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you know children of God? We go astray many times. We are lost many times. It's because the light is not there. Can you tell somebody close to you, I am the light. I want us today to prepare ourselves to live according to the light. You know, when you are living in the light, there is only one person you listen to. Holy Spirit, talk to me. And I will do as you say. Holy Spirit, direct to me. And I will go where you want me to go. Holy Spirit, lead me. And I will follow you. And go where you want me to go. Why? Because there is light in your life. Hallelujah. Now the light that is in you need. That light must grow. Can you ask the person that is close to you. Is your light growing? Ask again. Is your light growing? Jesus answered the woman and said, I am the light. Now when I am the light, go and live and sin no more. Then you will be able to live in the light. It means when you are living in sin, you are living in darkness. When you are still living in darkness, when you are still doing some of the sins, it means that light cannot comprehend you. Because there is darkness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 5 verse 14 to 16. Write it down. It says you are the light of the world. Verse 14. You are the light of the world. A city that is on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do they light a lamb and put it under a basket. But on a lampstand... And it gives light to all who, all who are in the house. Let your light shine so before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are the light. Why are you hiding your light? You must put your light on the lampstand. 
so that everyone in the house can see clearly and nicely. How do you put your light on the lampstand? By telling them the truth. If you are wrong, you are wrong. If you are right, you are right. Even if you can deny, but if you are wrong, you are wrong. Isn't it? But deep inside your heart, you know you are wrong. Now we are the light of the world. That's what the Bible says. Now if this whole church, this whole house, is the light, I'm just saying, Winnie Mandela, in Winnie Mandela, why are people in one Winnie Mandela not seeing the good works that God is doing in us? If you are the light in your house and you have placed your light on the lampstand so that everybody in the house can have light and see what they are doing, why are the people in your house not acknowledging the God that you are serving? If you are the light in the house and you are putting the light on the lampstand, why people are always talking about your badness and the bad things you are doing? It means the light is not there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We say many of the times we are born again, we are Christians. But children of God, let me tell you today, we don't have the light of God in us. Aria pollution. We were never born again. After being born again, we went back to our own ways. After going back to our own ways, because I stood two years ago, and I said, I'm accepting Jesus as my Lord and my Savior. And now I am a Christian. I have to find myself in a church. Whenever you come to church, the word that is being preached does not even touch and change you. The words that are being spoken does not even speak to your soul. Everything that is happening in the church, they're just keeping themselves busy. And when you are busy doing that, change does not come to you. That is why we are always stagnant and staying in one place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you ask the person that is close? Do you have the light? Do you have the light in you? I am the light. And the one who follows me follows the truth. Do you follow the truth? Do you follow the truth? Do you follow the truth? As the person that is close to you, do you follow the truth? Are you doing things according to the word of God? Are you following him according to his word? Do you follow his commandments? Or you are just doing things because other people are doing it? Some of us, we are here today in the house of the Lord because our friends came. Am I telling the truth? When you come to church, you are doing it for your own soul. So that the light that is in you must grow. Hallelujah. Can you ask the person that is growing? Is the light growing? Sorry, ne? But I ask the person that is close to you, if your light is waking, why do you lie so much? Why do you hate so much? Why do you look at others with bad eyes? It's a sin. Why do you look down on others? Why do you make yourself better when you have the light? The word of God says wherever Jesus went, he will be filled with compassion for the people. Why? Because he was having love in him. And why? Because he was the light of the world. He was here to set a foundation for us so that we can understand that if we want to follow him, we want to follow him, we have to follow his footsteps. But now Christian of these days, so we are no longer following the footsteps of Jesus. We are no longer doing what he does. When Jesus came, he was following what Father has told him. Isn't it? 
Now when we accept Jesus, we must do what Jesus said. And he said to us, when I go, you will do what I'm doing and more of what I have done. Even the things that I didn't do, you will do. Where are those things in us, children of God? Hallelujah. Why it is because we don't have the light in us. Tell the person that is close to you, where is your light? Is the light living in you? Is the light there in you? Hallelujah. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 5, I'm finishing. It says we are the sons of the light and of the day. Tell the person close to you, you are a son or a daughter of the light. Now when you have the light, people must know that you are a Christian. Sometimes ago, we used to speak about Bazalwane Tzotzi. Can you ask the person that is, are you a Mozaloni Tzotzi? Bazalwane Tzotzi can tell you a story like it's true, whereas it's a lie. Bazalwane Tzotzi can come and tell you things like they have happened, can't they? They never happened. They can tell you, I was praying the whole night, can't they? They never prayed. <laughs> I was, uh, hey, these days, you know, mama, I was praying and interceding and I heard God and I, you never heard anybody speaking. Is it a sin not to hear God? Huh? It's not. But if God didn't speak anything, what did you say God said to me? If you are living in the light, even your mouth will be ashamed to say things that are not there. If I come to pray for you, it will just be in the name of Jesus you are free and I live. If God didn't tell me anything, God didn't tell me anything. And it is not a sin. Huh? Now why are we professing to hear God, even uh, servants? Today, these days, they are hearing God. You will see a person being born again last week. This week, the person is hearing God. I've been born again 20 years, but I've never heard God speaking. One day, I said to Daddy when we were at home, I wonder, please, can you explain to me how does God speak? And my husband was laughing at me. I said, I'm serious, I'm not joking. And he's tried to explain to me, he speaks with your heart, Blah, 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 blah. I said, no. You might wonder why I'm asking. I'm asking because evil children like Bokano, they are hearing God these days. And when you look at them, there are still children who go around at the back and steal sugar at home. But they are hearing God. Hmm? You know, Mudimu Amata, you know, Bulela, no Maganja, no Bulela. Stop, stop. The Bible says when God speaks, He speaks by thunder. Have you read the Bible? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Israelites says to Moses in the book of Genesis and Exodus, if you can go and read, it says. When they were coming from Egypt, always Moses will come and say, God says, eh, God says, they say, Ay, when, ay, la pile, rina, we are tired. We want to hear him ourselves. And God says, to tell them to go and wash their clothes and come after three days and sit here. I will come and speak with them. They went home, they prepared their self. They wait for God to come and speak. 
The Bible says when God came, he came by thunder and lightning. But Moshe, if your God speaks this way, really, whoa, go and speak with him yourself. We cannot stand for him. Why? Because when God speaks, there must be lightning and thunder. When God speaks, there must be shaking of evil. When God speaks, darkness must shake. When God speaks, things that are not good must run away. When God speaks, everything must change. Why? Because the light of God will come and avail itself where you are. When it avails itself, every demonic attack, demonic spirit must run away from you. Why? Because the presence of the Lord is there. Galatians chapter 5 verse 19. Little. A little to ring a man. Now the works of the flesh are evident. We read that they say men love darkness. They love the works of the flesh. Isn't it? Eh? Now the Bible says the works of the flesh, the works of darkness, they are evident which are adultery. Say one. Fornication. Uncleanness. Lewdness. Idolatry. Sorcery. Hatred. Contentions. Jealousies. Outbursts of wrath, selfish ambitions, dissensions, heresies, envy, murders, drunkenness, revelries, and the like. Of which I tell you before and just as I also told you in time past, that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. 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 Can you ask the person that is close to you, which one is finding you? We are saying we are in the light, we are children of the light, but all or some of these things are found in us. Baba yomba rena rono bula waka jealous, fela. Tapa lwa lili wodi mo kala waka la jealous wana papa. You will not enter heaven just because of jealous. Hmm? You will not enter heaven just because your heart is full of filthy, of evil. You always think about evil concerning other people. You always speak wrong things about other people. Even when you don't know that those people are doing those things, you just say them. Why? Because you want to satisfy the darkness that is in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you ask the person that is close to you, how many do you have? I want to finish. We must have the light of God in us. Children of God. Let us be children of the light. Let us use this opportunity when we still have it. Let us not play church. Ask the person that is close to you, are you not playing church? Are you not coming to church so that you can be seen? When the word is being spoken, it does not do anything to you. If I can ask some other people here and say, what is it that the day was preaching last week? We don't know. Even though we wrote it in our notebook, but we don't know. Why? Because darkness is taking over our lives. Hallelujah. We have more of the desires of the things of the world than less than being, having more of the desires of the things of heaven. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom, and all shall follow. If Rikana can so, when we can just follow the kingdom of God, everything that we need will come to us. Everything that we are searching for will come to us. 
Why? Because this light is our righteousness. This light is the light of our path. We can never go wrong when we are walking in the light. That's why I said in the beginning, you can never be confused when you are walking in the light of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us search for the light of God. In Isaiah 5, 5, it says, let's walk in the light of God. Isaiah 60, chapter 1 says, arise and shine. For the light has come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you ask the person that is close to you, do you have the light? I'm just telling you verses so that you can go and read them at home. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 8 says, Walk as children of the light. First Peter chapter 2 verse 9. We were called from darkness to his marvelous light. So let us be children of the light. Hallelujah. 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 We are children of the light. Can you tell somebody close to you, we are children of the light. Why is darkness found in us? Why Why the ways of darkness are found in us? The last verse we are going to read is Luke chapter 11, 35 and 36. Can we read it? And we close. As the person that is close to you, do you have the light? Which is Luke 11. Luke 11, 35 and 36. Can I read it? Therefore, take heed that the light which is in you is not darkness. If then your whole body is full of light, having no part dark, the whole body will be full of light. As when the bright shining of the lamp gives you light. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says we must watch. Check. If your light is not darkness. If really you have the light. And the Usina Karulo, where no part in you is darkness. No part in me is darkness. It means my whole body will be full of light. And this light will show everywhere, wherever I go. Can somebody say hallelujah? Hallelujah. Can you ask the person that is, do you have the light? Are you the son of the light? Are you living in the light? Are you not living in darkness? Are you not living contrary to the word of God? Are you not doing things contrary to the word of God? What I know is, let me tell you, wherever, where there is the light of God, there is no sin. In every place where Jesus stays, the house must be clean. Jesus does not stay in a house that is dirty. A house that is dirty is a house that is unclean, that is full of things. The things that are there are the things that we have read there in the Bible, isn't it? In Colossians. So now we are Christians, we are children of God. We are going to church each and every Sunday. Each and every Friday, Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday. The whole week, we are in the house of God. But part of us is darkness. Now when part of us is darkness... The light cannot show better. Now for that darkness to go from you, the Bible says part. Hmm? I'm not saying you're evildoers. 
Yes, we are born again. We are children of light. We are going to heaven. We are following Jesus. But there is part in us that is darkness. Now this part that is darkness, it makes this light not to shine the way it's supposed to shine. Come and show my way. If you are doing 90% of brightness and there is 10% of darkness, that darkness of our shadows, the 90%, will fail later you have done nothing. Why? Because you are in darkness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you ask the person close to you for the last time? Are you in the light? Are you the son of the light? Are you following the light?